A Japanese lawmaker says his country has not gone as far as it can toward resolving the unresolved matter of Korean women forced into sexual servitude by the Japanese military leading up to and during World War II. The comments come amid renewed talks on the issue between Seoul and Tokyo, and our foreign affairs correspondent Hwang Sung Hee reports. An eight term Japanese lawmaker says Tokyo can do more to resolve the issue of Japanese military's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women. At a Heritage Foundation forum in Washington on Wednesday, Takeo Kawamura of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party said Japan has been working to resolve the issue of the so called comfort women and that it is willing to deal with this. Kawamura added Japan could take the same measures it had done in the past for the 55 surviving Korean victims. These may include providing a letter of apology for the comfort women and some financial compensation from a civilian led fund. The offer for such civilian led compensation was rejected by South Korea in the 1990s, as Seoul saw it as the Japanese government's attempt to avoid direct responsibility. Kawamura's remarks come after South Korea and Japan resumed talks on Tokyo's sexual slavery in Seoul on Wednesday, the first such meeting since Japan went back and reviewed its 1993 Kono statement, which apologized to the so-called comfort women. The Abe administration, while upholding the landmark statement, claimed last month that Seoul was in close consultation with Tokyo when it was being drawn up. Around 200,000 women, mostly Korean, were forced to serve the Japanese military in the early 20th century. But killing any anticipation for concrete progress between the two neighbors, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga expressed regret over Seoul's reaction. During a press briefing Wednesday, Suga said the review was conducted in an objective manner by experts. Suga added Japan has no plans for new measures to solve the comfort women issue. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.